be making bases. What's going on YouTube, Beat Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Definitely helps out the videos and the content and all that type of stuff. But without further ado, let's jump right into today's content. What I wanted to discuss is how you can make your tracks loud without clipping and distortion how to make your tracks loud without clipping the distortion. Okay, so look, check this out. I got this vibe right here. It's it's a smooth, I, I think you probably could go for more of a lo-fi vibe. And I want y'all to check out the beat. And then from there, I'm gonna just be showing y'all what you could do to these different tracks to make the, uh, the beat sound even more punchy and loud. There's several different plugins, several different techniques, and I'm gonna show you right now. But um, let's go ahead and check out the um, the track. So technically the volumes and the levels are pretty solid as you can look at on the stereo out. Um, there's a head, some headroom and everything like that. But um, a lot of times people don't care about that, especially unless you're recording to the music, you know, the headroom and all those other concepts, it really doesn't matter. If you're just streaming the music, you know, to sell it or you're streaming it because you know you want some people to hear your music like a lo-fi album or something like that then you're gonna to wanna to take these things into consideration. So let's just start one by one here. Um, actually, we'll start with like this, uh, these chords. Now there's two ways, or I'll, well, I'll say maybe more than that, but there's a few ways you can make this loud. Um, as you heard in some of the other videos, we have a couple of plugins we've been using. One is this Auxer Maximizer. You can put this on drums, but you can also put this on like your instrument sound. So like what you'll do is you'll pull this ultimate ultra maximizer plugin up. It's L1 plus ultra maximizer. It's a waves plugin. Okay. And you'll just basically turn the ceiling down some and threshold down some. Now let's check it out. And as you see here, basically I'm pulling this stretched out threshold down until it just it gets loud, but not too loud where it's just it's, it's uh, clipping or distorting. So what that ceiling is gonna do when you put that at negative 1.0, that's gonna keep it from clipping and um, and everything like that. But you, you as far as the distortion, you do want to make sure that you kind of. Um, pay attention to how much threshold you're, you know, taking out or whatever, or bringing down. Now that's one way. Another way, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and just do this. Another way is to do a plugin called MV2. All right, these are our, our paid plugins. I'm going to show you a couple of stock plugins you can use as well. But this plugin right here, MV2, it is a compressor. It's a waves plugin. So you would just you know, type in MV2 in Google and put waves after that and this, this should pluck right up. Let's see what this one can do. Now, one thing I like about this uh, particular plugin is that you can actually boost the high signals and the low signals. So, like if you look at the frequency range chart, you're like boosting a lot of these frequencies if you're on the high. So, everywhere, everywhere from probably like 800 um, hertz all the way to 220k, um, and then on the lows, probably everything from 800 down to 20k. I mean, 20 hertz. Um, but you're boosting these signals and it actually makes it sound a whole lot more punchier in the mix. Can 
compared to this. Big difference. Um, let's say you don't have these plugins, right? You're like, man, that's cool, but I don't really have an extra, you know, 30, 40, 50 bucks to get a bunch of plugins or $100 or $200 to get some more plugins. Um, well, let's talk about what you could do instead. Well, what you can do is you can go over here to your dynamics under your, your, um, under your plugins here and go to adaptive limiter okay push stereo this is going to be another way to boost your signal in your tracks so this remember what i was telling you about the ceiling you want to go ahead and take that ceiling down for this you could do negative 0 0.1 db or you can do the negative 1.0 db and then you can just push that gain up okay so let's just check this out going to be the same type of vibe as getting these other plugins but it will boost your signal just a little bit before after Okay, now out of these three plugins, let's just kind of see which one sounds the best. Before. This is the uh, Ultra, Maxima Ultra Maximizer. We also have this MV2. I'm almost thinking that this, it, it's either going to be the Austin Maximizer or the MV2. Let's just see. So you could actually feel the uh, the lows that were boosted with this MV2 plugin. Um, it's gonna make a big difference. So just a rule of thumb here: if if this was me just telling this to you all and like I didn't know about these plugins, I would say to probably go ahead and use this MV2 plugin more so on your melody instrument sounds, and then like for your drums, more so like this Ultra Maximizer, okay? And you could just put it on as needed. Some tracks actually sound loud off top in the uh, in the mix, and you don't have to necessarily add those in there. So like for instance, this kick, I'm just gonna go ahead and play this kick drum. It's pretty loud already. Well, it's not that loud, but what I'm getting at is you could just pretty much bring this sound up as loud as you need to. Now, this is another thing to talk about here. Like if say you like overdo it, this ceiling is still gonna keep it from clipping, but it's gonna be distorted. You see what I'm saying? So you wanna make sure on these settings, you find like a good sweet spot. What I mean by sweet spot is it's loud, but it's not so loud that it's like distorted. So like maybe you want to make basically maintain, you know what I mean? The original settings or the original sound. Um, another plugin too, and I've talked about this too on this channel. Uh, but another plugin that's good for boosting the signals without clipping and everything like that, it's actually going to be this Smack Attack plugin. You could throw that on your drums as well, like if, if it's, you know, doing anything like where it's 
not coming out silent the right way um to turn this clip on and then what you can do is turn this attack either to the to like to the right here So, adds a little bit of a smack to it uh, compared to this. That adds, like, this, the smack attack is more so kind of going to add, like, more of a crispy punch. This L1 Ultra Maximizer is going to, you know, add more of a full punch. And in this one, it's going to do, like, a combination because you'll have, like, more lows that you can put into it. Another thing you keep in mind here, y'all, is this going to be the presets on these plugins. Um, this adaptive limiter even has just a few presets you could go to on here, or you can go over here to this uh, Smack Attack factory presets. Using presets is a big key, you know. Come over on any of these instrument sounds, you find the presets any on on any of these plugins the same way. Just going over here where it says manual or factory default, factory presets, boom, boom, boom. So, yeah, you definitely want to do that. Use these plugins; it'll help make your beats louder. Um, one rule of thumb here, especially if you already have like a bunch of plugins already on each track, is to go ahead and export export these files as audio. And what that's going to do is free up your computer. Uh, processing power okay so all right so yeah basically with care parallel compression that's a that's going to be another way for you to actually um boost your signal on your drums mainly if you go over here to your mixer again here um what you want to do is create an auxiliary track um using our sins so you would come over here find an available bus wherever the bus is right and you want to create a track based on that auxiliary track I actually already have one right here. And then what you want to do as well is go ahead and put a compressor right here. Any compressor will do. You can come into dynamics, put a compressor, stereo, put a compressor. And then what you want to do is go to the compressor settings and over compress the signal. So how you do that is a couple of different ways. Um, you can push the, the uh, ratio up here. So make it a high ratio. Um, the numbers go higher as you see and push the knob up so make it a high ratio um, and then the threshold you want to make that a low threshold so um, basically turning that to the left turning that down some okay and in the attack instead of putting it closer to zero you want to push that one up a little bit and it's going to over compress the signal okay no matter what compressor you're using and then what you'll do is you'll come over here to the uh, sends here and you'll push the volume up until you feel like it's good without it clipping. So this is how the kick drum sounds um, before. All right, this is how it sounds when I push this up a little bit. As you can see on this signal right here, not clipping or anything. And so that's a good um, rule of thumb here is to use parallel compression as well if you don't have access to some of these um, plugins. Um, again, of course, another thing you could do is on the stereo out, just to help with the clipping, is either use an adaptive limiter, um, just turn the gain down and just do something like this, just negative 0.1 dB, just enough for it to catch the clipping. So, like for instance, how this was clipping before, let's check it out now. Now, one thing I can notice it kind of buffered it a little bit. So if you can afford smack attack, it definitely helps by putting that on the stereo out and just put clip right here and you'll see how the sound is not buffered as much. Yeah, so those are the tips I wanted to just basically line out for you. Thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure you go to my site, beatmakingbasics.com. You can grab courses, full video courses that have curriculum and everything like that, as well as sound packs. I also have a couple of services on there. So like if you need help mixing your beats, if you want me to review your beats, I could do all of that right there on the site. You just got to, you know, go ahead and download the pack and then set up a date and I'll get that, you know, send me the files and I'll get those uh, situated for you. 
Um, we also have the 100K giveaway, okay? Remember, we're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. We're going to be giving away different prizes um, at different milestones. you got to go ahead and purchase your ticket, okay? Um, if you go to the site, you purchase your ticket. What that's going to do is going to give you access um, to a bundle pack, okay? And it's going to give you actual sounds, um, you know, drum sounds, melody sounds, um, different lessons from different courses that are on the site. It's basically give you like a kind of a sample goodie pack, okay, that you'll be able to download, but it will also equal as your entry into the 100K giveaway. Listen, y'all, if you don't download this 100K bundle pack, I will not select you, okay, for the giveaway, all right? So this is all only going to be for the people who go ahead and get you get yourself a ticket and download that bundle pack so make sure you do that it's literally like y'all seriously i'm telling you if only five or ten people do it throughout the whole year all the way on on our journey guess what i'm only going to be selecting through those five or two ten people if you get, decide to get two of them or three of them or however many more like tickets it's going to up your chances more than likely you're going to win something even if it's not like the bigger prizes you're going to win something you know, so make sure you're going ahead and grabbing that, y'all. Take it serious. I am definitely going to be doing these giveaways as we reach these milestones. First milestone um, on the way to 100,000 subscribers is 10,000 subscribers. Right now, as we're doing this video, we're at 6,800. So, I mean, not that far away. Literally about 3,000 subscribers more. And boom, we're doing a, a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away a headset. Like, not a headset, but a headphones, a pair of good headphones, studio headphones. And pair of earbuds okay and then also we'll give um our bundle pack yeah we're gonna we got a lot of dope stuff you gotta go to the site make sure you get some cut courses make sure you get some sound packs make sure you get the uh giveaway bundle pack and i will see you in the next video thanks so much for watching we out